This is the brand new third generation Kia Sportage. This model that's been released is the 2 litre diesel and the rest of the range will follow in the first half of November. This has been designed in the direction of Peter Schreyer, ex Audi TT exterior design. It's been influenced by the Tiger profile and the other cues in the car are a Tiger grille and also the upper level of the windscreen which I'll show you in a moment. There are four engines on offer, two petrols and two diesels. The range starts from just under £17,000 and goes up plus £10,000 at 26. Design-wise it's a confident, bold design, really epitomising the newfound confidence in Kia. And don't forget Kia's now, since the beginning of 2010, do offer a seven-year warranty system on the range. Moving down to the back of the car. Look at the width of this window here, that really opens up the back cabin so you don't feel hemmed in. It is good to see a full size do um, it is good to see a full size spare tire here. And so many manufacturers now are simply giving you sprays or very thin skinny space savers. That's even easier than the Volkswagen Touareg. A good indicator of how thick the metal is on any car is to actually just put a bit of stress on the, the door which will pull the latch here and you can see the pillar on this flexing slightly. You won't get that on a BW or Audi at all. There's plenty of headroom but uh, you've got to be aware of this roof line coming down here because uh, you know getting out if you're not used to it, you'll certainly bump your head. Notice red lighting, more aggressive than the old orange. This car has been fully fueled, and the range it's giving is 360 miles on one tank of fuel. The plastic seems to be very similar to what was in the Mitsubishi with a bit of flex here and a nice contrast of surfaces as well and uh, nice indentation there so you don't get as much glare so you're know, varied and more confident than the Mitsubishi dashboard that we saw earlier. That will give you three flashes without fully locking it down and it's also good to see it on the left hand side. My 2009 Kia Rio has the indicator on the right hand side, which is quite a rarity these days. Compared with the diesels, it is a little bit hoarse. And the gearbox throws are quite wide. Look at the distances between second and third, third and fourth, for example. So you may argue a little bit crude compared to other marks. You know, comparing it to the Mitsubishi ASX, there's no start-stop here, there's no regenerative braking system. And remember that Mitsubishi undercuts this, because that Mitsubishi starts at 15,000. Yeah, the first impression I'm getting now is, is the core stability of the car, and, and it does seem good. It does seem very stable. A little bit stodgy, you might argue. But I think if I compare the design to the engineering, the design certainly sur surpasses the the engineering because it is a confident design and, and going around the roundabout you feel they're very assured and there's no there's no detectable roll. Can't 
not feel the back end stepping out at all. Coming out of this. How's your stomach? Oh, I suppose. The problem. <laughs> 